It's the 3rd of August. We're at Berwick upon Tweed. We've been to all the English stations. England. Tick. Welcome to all the Scottish stations. <laughs> Hello Scotland. Final few moments in England. Berwick is literally only like three miles, not even that, from the Scottish border. And over the years, it's gone back and forth between English and Scottish rule. And even really recently, people were still debating should it still become part of Scotland. You need to do it. Scotland thing. That was it. <laughs> Scotland. There was a marker. I think we missed it. <laughs> the nice gentleman here said, I'll show you where the... Oh, you missed it. Yeah. <laughs> no, literally. As he, was, as, the, as, the, as he was just about to explain where it was, we went past the, the sign that went, well, for Scotland. We live in Scotland. Scotland. Dunbar. We're in Scotland. Ironically, it stopped raining. <laughs> Thanks, Scotland. Wouldn't it be? No, I would love it if the whole of Scotland for next week was just sunny. <laughs> that would be so good. <laughs> We're saying goodbye to this delightful couple. <laughs> that an Englishman married a Scots lady. It can happen. The union between the two. When we're in Oban, we have to see what was it? What folly? McCaig's folly. McCaig's folly. We're going to go to McCaig's folly in Oban. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a great day. <laughs> First time we're getting off the train into Scotland. Uh, there's a there's a big bloody TV camera waiting to meet us. You ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Morning. Welcome to Scotland. We're in Scotland. Okay, we're, we're finished now. <laughs> now this is just the start. It's very busy. We normally have, we normally we only ever come for the festival. But now you get to do it properly. Yay! How are you feeling now? Um, Don't be put off on the fact that there's a huge TV camera over there I'm filming not, you. I'm not. <laughs> You're putting me off with this camera. <laughs> Morning! So for the train nerds amongst us, yes. this will be our first class 380. There's no paces, is there? There's no paces. <laughs> you did all, we've done all the paces. It's a whole new world. I just had a it's tiny the... spark of hope it's the... <laughs> <laughs> that they might put on a special pace. But, Scott Rail Maquette. Yay! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Everybody say bye to STV. All of YouTube is waving at you. <laughs> apart, apart from that guy there. Wave at them. This is North I'm going to have to get you to pronounce it. Berag and... I'm slipping into a Welsh accent. Berag and Tua. If it just gives me regular English money, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> Got my uh, Scottish money. How many Scottish pounds to the English pounds? What's, the, ex good what's the exchange rate? I'm not rate? sure what the exchange rate is. Maybe we need to ask a local. At the back of the ten pound note has got the got a viaduct. It's a Glenfinnan viaduct. Are we going there? Yes. And that's the Harry Potter viaduct. So already <laughs> in Scotland, we've had such a warm welcome. We just popped into a cafe, just getting a tea. And um, lady who works there just uh, started giving us a bit of banter. Ended up hugging her for about five minutes. So North Berwick is an amazingly oh, picturesque town. Overlooking Berwick, just behind me here, is what they call the Law. Uh, it's a hill overlooking the town and on top of which for many many years was a very famous whale jawbone but in the early 2000s the, the jawbone collapsed uh, it broke they replaced it now with, with a fiberglass one so you can still uh, make your way to the top to, to have a look at it the hill was also used as lookout posts during Napoleonic Wars and also the Second World War and also I imagine amazing views from the top Wow. This 
Sticky Explorers was more of a passage of discovery. I hadn't, I didn't think we would have time here, so I didn't do an extensive amount of research. So uh, yeah, this is this is what I discovered on my tour of North Berwick. North Berwick. We missed the train. <laughs> um, I just left Jeff to his own devices. We thought it was at 12.27 and um, we checked with people and they said yes, 12.27. It left at 12.20. Jeff can't blame me this time. <laughs> On the upside, nice waiting room, Berwick. I mean, North Berwick. And there is a, a book exchange, so I could read a book for an hour. We're back on the train, we finally left North Berwick. What happened is that when we got there, we could have come out on the 11.27 straight away, but the nice staff and we were told that it was an hourly service. So we went, oh, next train is at 12.27, hourly service. Only it wasn't. <laughs> there was a 9.27, a 10.27, an 11.27. The next one is a 13.27, which is what we're on now. But the one in between left at 12.20, not 12.27. I'm sure there's a valid reason to do with parthing and, and fitting services in, but I find that confusing and it would be better if off-peak trains always ran at the same minutes past the hour. Because then you can just go by minutes past the hour rather than having to check. This is the second time we've recorded this, by the way, and this is my condenser version of that, <laughs> of that little anecdote. <laughs> so having spent an hour in North Berwick, we then had to spend an additional hour in North Berwick. So we're like actually two minutes behind our... Two minutes? Two hours behind our original plan for the day, which is frustrating. But it's happened and we're getting away. Turn that frown <laughs> upside down, <laughs> Jeff. No, I'm not. Because I'm no, we're, 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 we're already like a, a give minute there. We're already a minute there. <laughs> debit card. Wallaford. Wallaford? Wallyford. Brilliant name. Just wanted to get that in. It's in there on my list of favourite station names. Oh, there's a little train. Are you sure? Somebody, somebody on your favourite station names now, Wallyford. Yeah. Driver can't open the doors. <laughs> <laughs> Waverly. It's sunny now. It rained <laughs> only moments ago. Where are we going next? Uh, Tweed Bank. Tweed Bank. 
the terminus of the Borders Railway. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. I'm going to do this as a short story and a long story. The short story is Hello. this is a phenomenal. Yeah. Nice to see you. The short version is Vicky's getting attacked by dog. This is a phenomenal success story of what happens when you reopen a railway, and in every way, this has been a success. Fantastic. The slightly longer story is that this is part of the odd Waverley route. The trains used to go much further past here. It was a classic close in the 1960s due to beaching. I just read a little brilliant nugget of a fact on the Wikipedia article that the last train ever through here, I think in 1965, was uh, St Pancras to, to Edinburgh uh, sleeper train. That was delayed for two hours because there were protesters on the line back in the 60s saying don't close our line. So even when it was being closed, people were like, this is, this is ridiculous. Anyway, and it's taken ages and ages and then protest groups and etc. And basically they reopened the line and it reopened in 2015. I think it's about 40 miles long. It's one of the, uh, it beats the Robin Hood line, you know, in terms of a line reopening. And, and the fact that you need to know is that it has far outweighed all expectations in terms of how many passengers it would carry. To drive from here to Tweed Bank to Edinburgh takes about 55 minutes. You can do it on the train in 45 minutes. The train is faster than the car. People love it. People come in both directions. It has generated jobs, it has generated tourism. It is in every way a major, major success and shows what can happen when you reinvest money and you bother to re-establish our railway lines. And, and I'm saying this, I want more lines like this in Britain to be reopened and to get people back on railways and off of their cars. It is a success. I can't do it justice in 60 seconds. The point is, the Borders Line is brilliant. Come and ride it. And it was quite scenic too, wasn't it? Oh my days. <laughs> That's all you need to know. The really long version is on Wikipedia. Go ahead and read the article. Look, there's two lovely people over here who, who, I, who I think are locals. No, we're from Yorkshire. I thought you were on the internet. Oh, right. You're... I was hoping that they'd be like some sort of Tweed Bank locals Sorry going. No, 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 we were in the area and we, 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 we knew the station and the line had opened not so long ago. We were quite interested to see it. You so know, you've so... just read in the line yourself? Just yeah, yeah basically. And then oh. we saw you guys on the internet the other day. Sorry about that. And, and there you are. Just <laughs> an amazing coincidence. So, uh, yeah, we were just having a moment then. But we've got to get the train back out in four minutes, so... Well, well, can I can I do Jeff's famous left-handed handshake? Yeah. I've got the yeah, 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 I'm going to do... I'm going to do the left-handed handshake. <laughs> when I see the word New Craig Hall, you know, like I do my... You know, Jeff sees a word, sounds like something else. New Craig Hall, what's the guy's name? Off of Strictly, Vicky. Craig Revel. Craig Revel Hall. Hall. <laughs> I want to call it. I want to call it Craig Revel Revel Station. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> help! It's because I've only had one no, tea today. No, I need the help. <laughs> <You> need <laughs> no. help. That's it, that's actually the end of our day. It's like a short and sweet, simple day. It's just worth pointing out, we got chatting to a lovely lady, a local on the Tweed Bank oh, line. Yes, Her name was Christine. Christine was saying that that Tweed Bank branch has proved so popular that sometimes people haven't been able to get on the train and people have complained yep. that they're only running two car carriages. It's, it's already a victim of its own success and people are saying, double up the track, put on more carriages. But that to me is an example of just how, I'd rather that than no one use the line because now you can use the evidence that it's so popular to go to other places and go, look, open up more railways. So I'm pleased that it's a victim of its own success. I'd rather it was that than underused. And it's beautiful. <laughs> and we haven't even hit the Highlands yet. Well, I'm already blown away. See you tomorrow? Bye. Bye. If I pull on a happy face and you turn the camera upside down, yeah. would it look like I'm smiling? Go. Is that an, an unhappy face? Th what? Yes. What? Okay. Yeah.